Fest poster captures the sounds of this year's Grammy winner in full color, but the idea was already in paint before the trophies were in hand. Yeah, and it's all uh, thanks to an already popular painter who's been to Jazz Fest a time or two. As Rob Kruger explains, it's a merger of two locals that creates a one-of-a-kind poster in artist to artist. Filled with an artist's palette worth of colors, John Batiste's music video Freedom captured the hearts of the Academy at the Grammys. Even before that, Jazz Fest poster company Art For Now was driven by the music, tapping Terrence Osborne, a man who is no stranger to commandeering the energy of colors, to paint this year's already popular Jazz Fest poster. When you look at that video, it looks like one of my paintings in motion, so it's, it's no coincidence that Jazz Fest asked me to do it after seeing that video. Osborne is a Jazz Fest poster veteran. This iteration, his fourth main poster. He's immortalized Fats Domino, Trombone Shorty, and the Preservation Hall Jazz Band for the fest. But this year, the stars truly aligned as Batiste racked up nearly a dozen Grammy nominations and took home a handful of gramophones. But Osborne had dipped his brush well before the Academy voted. So they came to me and said, all right, we want you to do, be the artist and we want you to do John Batiste. So this is before his Grammy nominations, before, you know, uh, everyone got, like he's the man right now. So uh, before all of this, uh, Jazz Fest had already decided on, on that he would be the subject. As he does with most of his work, Osborne wanted to make it special. So he picked up the phone and called Batiste. No artist has ever spoken to the subject while they were working on the poster. So I, I asked John at the time, I was like, is there anything that I could put in it that is special to you? So he said the number 11, which you can, you know, you can see it's, I put it right above the door here. So he, he grew up in a house with the address 11. He was born 1111 uh, and he was nominated for 11 Grammys, you know, so that the, the irony of that. Uh, so I had to put 11 in there for sure. The painting unveils a host of secrets embedded in the colors, including the Purple Knights, also featured in the music video. So those three St. Aug members, um, John also said he wanted a lady who had just come home from choir practice. So I had to throw that in there. There's a bucket board here. And this is actually a combination of my wife and my daughter. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's in there. Already the exclusive versions of the poster are selling out. In fact, Osborne says if you want one, don't wait till the final Sunday. It's probably, I, I know it's my best seller so far, um, as I've never had any to sell out this quickly. I think for Jazz Fest, it's one of the best sellers too. Now, Osborne is just happy to be back out at the fairgrounds, rubbing elbows with the people that love his art and getting that taste of freedom that comes with the colors the sounds and the smells that sink into your soul at Jazz Fest. It's been two years, you know, and people are dying to get back to Jazz Festival. And it's, if, if you go to Jazz Festival, you know it's like a big family reunion, right? So we, we, we're gonna see all the people who we've been seeing all, all, all these years. People are, are done with COVID. They just want to relax and get a po' boy, drink a beer you know, listen to some music and see some artwork. So it's like, it's, it's time. Artwork that makes you move your body just like this. Rob Krieger, Foxy, Local First. And you can buy the poster on artfornow.com or visit the Jazz Fest to buy in person while supplies last.